And my parents spent, you know, the first 18 years of my life complaining about my existence. It's so hard. And then they're like, you, well, you want grandkids? It's like, no. Because our parents left their home yeah. to come here for a better opportunity. And then we grow up with them and then we leave home again. Human Dude, child. having a kid is like the most, it is the most meaningful thing. Because if that thing dies, you go to prison. Do you need kids to be happy? This 42-year-old TikToker doesn't think so. And I'm here with famous comedian and TikToker himself, Alvin Kwai. Uh, thanks for being here. You're subbing in for David. What's up, guys? I'm the most famous TikToker on the planet. It's good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so convincing, Alvin. They believe you. All Everybody believes you. I'm very famous. Uh, no, so this story is going viral. Natalie Bright is a 42-year-old TikToker out in New York City, this great, amazing city here. Yeah. Um, and she is... T going viral because she's basically talking about how she's childless right now and she's not going to let people make her feel bad when people are like oh who's going to take care of you when you're 70 or how are you going to feel fulfilled in life she's like nah i'm living i'm living yeah being 42 has some complications as a single person certain people don't want to be my friend because i'm too old but otherwise i'm living life and now there's a range of responses of course some people are supportive of her some people are kind of like speaking out being like oh you're missing out and you're gonna be lonely forever um, but yeah, we're going to talk about it because it all kind of ties into this larger conversation of this world right now about dating, career women, childless men and women not being married, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about it and thank you, Alvin, for being here, everybody. Uh, if you're interested by this conversation, please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the hot pot boys. Um, initial reactions, Alvin. Yeah. I think the people who are leaving negative, negative comments on our video are just, they're losers, man. <laughs> Everyone who leaves a negative comment on a video is a loser. Wait, you mean just any comment or you're saying like the negative comments? Dude, any comment. If you just have to type on a public video, I need these people to know how I feel. No one cares. And these guys who are concerned, oh, oh, you, Natalie, you'll, you'll, you'll regret not having kids. I bet they don't have any kids of their own. Because, <laughs> right. because not, dude, if you're leaving comments on a video, I, I, I doubt any girl's letting you leave it in. <laughs> No girls letting you leave you it leave in, dude. You a comment, you ain't leaving it in. That's what Al, the fame, world famous TikTok or Alvin <laughs> You ain't pulling it out, you ain't leaving it in, dude. Nothing's yeah. happening down no, there. I mean, you know, most people who leave negative comments about us are faceless, got a bunch of numbers in their username. I'm not disrespecting that. Yeah. I welcome the discussion, of course. I've seen, I've seen their Instagram. I've stalked them. They're holding a fish. It's like, good job, Bryce. I hope you feel good today. Uh, all right, everybody. We're going to go into the comments section. We got some responses in our insight. Uh, someone said... <clears throat> to defend her, said, well, you know, sometimes some things just don't work out, whether it's the finances or divorce or health issues. You know, any one of these things can put off you, a woman, having a kid, right? I mean, I mean, we don't know what she's going through. She never said why she hasn't had kids. I don't know if it's a, is it because she has a TikTok? Is that why she doesn't have a kid? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, it could be health issues. It could be the fact that, you know, no man wants her because she is a 42 year old woman on TikTok. Does that sound like, does that sound like wife material to you? Does that sound like, I want, yeah. I want this TikTok to be the mother of my child. No. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. <laughs> no, I like I, the criticism. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let, without obviously personally getting into it because we don't know her. I mean, I would just say right off the bat, listen, she's living a good life in New York City because she's 42 and beautiful. Let's yeah. not overlook the fact that she is a beautiful I believe Korean woman who's 42. So it's like, you know, it could be worse if you're 42. Yeah, She's absolutely. living a good life. Absolutely. I think. Yeah. If you're hot, your life is going to be fine. I have a comedian friend who is a good looking guy. He's broke, but he's never had to pay for rent in the city because he just shacks up with, with women who want to pay for him. You know, he's a garbage. And he's not even a successful comedian. He's not. No. Could, farthest thing from successful, dude. Yo, Complete how loser. how good looking is this dude? He's a good looking guy. Yeah. And he's not even that tall. So for your short, your short kings out there, you know. How you tall have, is you have, he? He's like 5'6", dude. But he's a good looking guy. He's, he's a great looking 5'6". He's like yeah. Tom Cruise 5'6". He's Tom Cruise 5'6". Wow. You know, runs even better. <laughs> then. Just the, the, the form is impeccable. Guys, the next comment is... Well, you know, to be honest, it's really draining on parents to have kids. They spend a lot of times, you know, raising the next generation. Yeah. And I, my comment on this was like, you know, being a kid of immigrants and seeing how much your parents sacrifice for you makes it a little intimidating to have kids because that's our reference for a parent. So I'm thinking like, oh, my God, if that's what my parents went through, 
I don't want to go through that for just my kid. Yeah. Cause like they were like, yo, I think if my parents needed to sacrifice anything on the dot, they were like, you want to move to a different school district for schools. You got to do that. Oh, like, okay. Less spending more money on, 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 on uh, after school program or whatever it is. Like, bam. Yeah, you absolutely. I mean, my parents spent, you know, the first 18 years of my life complaining about my existence. It's so hard. <laughs> and then they're like, you, well, you want grandkids? It's like, no. You just com- you just complained for eighteen years about this thing. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I don't like, want to do it. What if what if you complain about my kids? Less likely that they will. I always hear like the the Asian grandparents. They're always super nice to the grandparents. Right, right, right. Because right. they raise them right. differently. Like right. my parents to my nephews. Oh my god, my dad is like super loving nice. my yeah. nephew. Like he is like he's the cool dad. Yeah, it's like where was this guy when I was growing up, dude? <laughs> the guy I grew up with was a well, he was, was a dick. He was supporting the family and just being stressed out at everything. <laughs> yeah, true. True. Yeah, he was just trying to make it in America, I guess. Uh, next comment is, most children don't even take care of their parents when they get older. And then someone said, well, you know, I'm Mexican, and we take care of our own until they die. So, you know, you gringos are different. So there's a Mexican person calling out white people in yeah. the comment section being like, yeah, see, not even all kids take care of their We take care of ours. Cause, cause we keep the family close. We keep the family unit very within the city limits. Yeah. Well, you know, anytime someone attacks a white person, I, I fully support it. So, you know, to that, <laughs> to that commenter, I, I but, say thumbs up. Uh, but I will say this, like, even as Asians and especially from the Asian families that we're, I'm from, like, if you're kind of like an achievement oriented family, then you want your kids to go off and leave home for a better opportunity, Mm -hmm. which is really funny to me because our parents left their home to come here for a better opportunity. And then we grow up with them and then we leave home again for a better opportunity. So we're like two times removed already. We're just doing what our parents did. Yeah. Because you're just abandoning your (laughs) your, your family. So I guess like we're just acting like our parents and leaving our our home behind. And then like, if I live away from my parents, how am I supposed to raise them when they get older? Technically, it's weird, right? No, it is It is weird. But you know, if they complain, like you you left me, it's just like, I'm just doing what you did, dad. To your <laughs> I'm just dad. running it back on you, yeah. That's yeah, like, dude, I'm karma in the flesh. That's how it feels. Uh, comment was, if having kids was truly winning, then these single mothers with five kids would be the most successful people in the world. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, that's- yeah. You know, I, I get it. I mean, do you think that having kids and you don't have a kid yet, but do you think, could you conceive that it would be, would make a life more fulfilling? It doesn't make it easier, but it makes it more fulfilling possibly. I think definitely because, uh, you know, man or woman, a lot of people who are in their fifties who don't have kids are like, one of my biggest regrets is not having kids. And it's just like, what do you, I mean, what is your existence at that age? Like you're like so a, you're, you're, you're one just, of those people in the comment section. <laughs> well, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm a loser. You're just too. not leaving the comments. I'm a loser too. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I mean, like, what what is your purpose in life? Like to be an IT consultant? Like that's what nature intended you to be? No, you could go on trips, <laughs> dude. Get some you, kids. You know how man. many dogs and plants you could raise if you're not raising a, a human? Dude, child? having a kid is like the most. It is the most meaningful thing because if that thing dies, you go to prison. What is more like motivating than that? <laughs> That does, yeah, I guess that's a good point that like, yeah, if you accidentally kill your kid or it dies on your watch, essentially, you're in trouble. What is more motivating than being, avoid being groped by a grown man? That's how precious it is. That's how precious a a baby is, right? Like you can't let, you can't let it get kidnapped. You got to make sure it like goes to school. Yeah. You got to feed it. If you don't do any of these things. And then also if you decide to hurt the baby yourself you're in a huge trouble too so it's like anything could go wrong it's such a precious thing yeah yeah it is it is so, and it's so fragile too yeah like baby skulls are like it's just like mush dude you can yeah that's just... why they wear the helmets to shape them you seen that no what's yeah that? if you want your baby to have a certain head shape you can put them a little helmet a forming helmet on it because they sleep <laughs> what? you know when babies lay on the back of their head <laughs> what long enough it, it puts a that's why i have a flat part on the back of my head because i laid on the bed. Is That's that why, why we all have the flat thing? Yeah, but if you if you want your kid to have a round head, there's a helmet. A shape. Dude, you're, you know you're, how they shape the watermelons in Japan hold, hold, into hold, hold, squares? Hold. Yeah. It's the same concept. You're telling me I can shape my baby's head into a Jewish star? Star David? <laughs> Dude, that kid's going to be amazing at entertainment. He's going to have a bright future in entertainment. Well, they're going to be extremely unique. Yeah, I don't know if the cranium can fit all the little angles of the star. 
But you could shape it into a different oval shape for sure. That's that's incredible. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I mean, shout out to Natalie Bright. I mean, I guess you know she's she said she's childish. She's not necessarily not married. You know, yeah. but she's maybe a career woman. Looks like she works hard. Looks to put herself out on TikTok. You guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like, is having a child super important nowadays? I personally think that you know I do want a child because I do feel like that. If you are a capable adult, you know you're smart. You have something to add to this world. Then you should reproduce and at least raise one other kid. Because otherwise, if you don't have, if all the smart people in this world don't have kids then it's just the other people are having kids. Yeah. And you still need the smart kids to balance out with the other kids. I'm not saying the other kids are bad. I'm just saying, like, people from good families still need to pass down their, their genes. Yeah, no, they're bad. They're bad. I'm not... You can create. You I'm can not create. passing judgment on you kids out there. I am. Yeah. I am. Alvin There's is a lot of useless kids famous out there. Famous TikToker, comedian out in New York City, Alvin Kwai. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Obviously, this video was supposed to be funny. Uh, let us know what you think about <laughs> Natalie and her TikTok. Uh, I just think she's living a fine life. She's really good looking. I'm just saying. I, ju I just think if you're that good looking... Stop being so thirsty, dude. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, guys. Thank you for watching the Hot Pot Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace.